Welcome to another edition of Would You Guess? Now, advances in genetics have allowed Jewish communities from all corners of the globe to uncover tremendous insights into their ancestry. Why? Well, until about the 20th century, due to both internal pressure and external restrictions, Jews married outside of the faith at about only 0.5% per generation. As a result, Jews became genetically isolated, making genetic analysis of the Jewish people that much easier. So here is what we know. Genetic researchers have found that all Jews, Ashkenazi, Sephardic, Mizrahi, whatever, descend from a founding community that lived 2,500 years ago in Mesopotamia or modern-day Iraq. Around that time, the population split into two, with half moving into Europe and North Africa, and the other half remaining in the Middle East, which historically does correspond with the expulsion of the Jews in 587 BC by Babylonian King Nebuchadnezzar after the destruction of the First Temple. Okay, so let's focus on Jews who wound up in Central and Eastern Europe in the last millennia, known as the Ashkenazi, who are now about 80% of all Jews living today for 10 million people around the globe. Now, the genetic studies tell us that this original Ashkenazi population lived in the medieval era about 600 to 800 years ago. They were half European and half Middle Eastern. And would you guess that that original founding population totaled a mere 330 people? Yep, every single one of the 10 million Ashkenazi living today descend from 330 people who lived between the 14th and 16th centuries. And given how acute the genetic similarities are of today's Ashkenazi, geneticists have determined that all 21st century Ashkenazim are literally mishpucha, which means family in Yiddish, being at least 30th cousins. Well, that's all for this edition of Would You Guess?